you're right that, that uh, you know the data from the payroll itself was I would say not so bad you know uh, rather going in the Fed's direction so an economy and a labor market that is not too hot and not too cold either um, having said that you know it also came on top of other data in the US uh, that last week which uh, sort of painted a sort of a slowdown uh, picture you know like the ISM indicators in terms of what our viewers should be doing I, I that is you know the obvious question what would you be doing let's say you're a, a viewer of this show you've been pretty fully invested you've enjoyed the ai inspired rally what now that's the that's the right question to 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 ask because you know i see two two different uh, behaviors you know um first you have some some investors that are considering that uh, I would say, um, as you just sort of hinted at, you know, nothing changes really. And uh, we're still in the same environment that we've had and that have been carrying carrying this uh, this bull market up until now. So for some people, you don't just don't do anything. You know, you just stay as you are. You stay invested, stay exposed to the U.S. Um, and to this technology revolution. Um, the other approach is, uh, on the other hand, is uh, to consider... I would say um, the inflation surprise of Q1 as a, as a rather negative surprise because it has extended, uh, you know, the time in which the economy is going to have to live with higher interest rates, much higher interest rates. In fact, now at best we're going to get a rate cut in September. Think about what we expected just six months ago, and that, as a consequence, is going to slow down the economy, which is also somehow now probably what's needed to cool inflation. Uh, further uh, to 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 Fed's uh, last mile, you know, the to the Fed's two percent. So if 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 that's the case, if that's true, then you know you you, you might want to 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 take a more defensive uh, view on this market. Um, after all, cash is going to yield a great return for for longer. And we are, if you think about uh, what's coming next, I think the U.S. elections are the big thing. This is a leaf out of the Warren Buffett book about putting some cash on the sidelines there so it's ready to deploy down the track potentially in the meantime take the yield. Can I ask you about the behavior though on markets because it has that flavor of the Nasdaq for the last number of years where every time there was a sell off that participants got dragged back off the sidelines and the market just went right back up again and it feels like we're getting that appetite again thanks to any monetary policy changes that the market's repricing around. Do you agree that's the, the type of market behavior watching at this point where there's a bit of FOMO, a fear of missing out? Yes, I think you, 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 you're right, especially in technology. Every time market gives a, an entry point, uh, you have a, a, a crowd of investors willing to, to, to buy that, uh, that point and, uh, and markets go back, goes back up again. I think that's what we saw uh, very aggressively last week. It was a big week for the, the NASDAQ and uh, overall, you know, we're already reapproaching uh, back to the high on, on that market it's not the case for the s p and uh, and for broader european indices um that is true but now look i think what i find interesting though looking at this earnings season which was supposed to be the point of strength and to be fair you know q1 been have been very good but i've been surprised to see that somehow earnings uh, expectation for this year are, are struggling to go higher um, including in the US. In fact, they are coming up to my su surprise somehow. In Europe, you're seeing a bit of earnings revisions. Expectations were very low, whereas in the US, expectations are very high and you're not seeing uh, expectations going up despite despite the boom, you know, I would say a booming Q1 in some areas, even in the AI sort of space. So that also, I think, is, uh, is, is, is an issue for, for, for the bulls.